Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do a tune up on this 2016 Ford Fusion and this is the second generation Fusion that goes from 2012 all the way to 2020. And very first thing, pull the cover off. No tools needed. Just pull it off and spark plugs will be right under here. So now that is loose. This is out and there's one more catch on this side. I believe that just pops right up. There you go. That's it. And that's it. The snorkel should come right off. There you go. Now we have plenty room. We took uh, this off completely on both sides and then this particular one. All right. Now, if you notice there are little grommets on either end, you just pry them off to expose the little nut underneath. The rest of them are bolts. These middle ones have bolts. These ones have like the rubber grommets on the top and we are doing eight millimeter nut right in there. So hopefully that is the same for here. Yes, they're all eight millimeter. Once they're off, pull the coil and there you have it. Plus, so do one at a time. That gives you the opportunity not to mess up with the wires and everything. Okay, it's a 5A uh, spark plug socket. Use the one with the magnet or rubber, so holds it right up. And just inspecting the spark plug can tell you a lot about how the engine is performing. In this case, car approximately has about 100,000 miles, I believe. So let's see how this first tune out looks for this car. All right. So lift it up and let's inspect the spark plug that are Okay, actually not too bad. It is, if you notice, it's a Ford Motorcraft plug, OEM, possibly directly from the factory and Iridium plugs. Those are perfect. You got the perfect replacement for it. Ford Motorcraft exact replacement and the spark plug number is SV550 and now they call it 550X for the Iridium versions. That's what's going in. Just looking at the new and the old one, they're extremely identical. Put a little bit of oil on the thread so they come back out easier and put some dielectric grease on boot electrical connections that are watertight as well as properly connected. And tightening, centering it properly, threads in, it's tight, latch on it, snug it, don't overdo other than basically crushing the washer a little bit. All right, so first plug completely done. A little bit of dielectric grease on the boot and on the electrical connection to let it nice and snug. Click, everything should click in place. Then we'll click, bolt will squeeze it tight. Tighten the 10 millimeter bolt. Once it's seated, tighten more. Okay, nice and tight. Put the grommet back on. New plugs going in. If you look at the new versus the old spark plug, they're identical. The gap for these iridium plugs are pretty small. I believe they are 0.6 millimeter is what's recommended on this. On the inches, I believe it's around 0.03 inch. And that is the gap. You don't have to gap, they are pre-gapped. Right, that was the last plug. Bent in, dielectric grease here. And if you notice, there's a lot of debris in there, so it's a good time to vacuum this out while you're changing as well. Don't put anything inside. <laughs> Both the corner coil bolts, but they're all eight millimeter, which is great. Then I do switch sockets. That is just for the retention of this wiring harness. All right, so that is it all for done. Now we put the snorkel back in. Tighten flat head screwdriver, nice and tight so it doesn't come off. All right, so yank it, make sure they don't come off. All connections at one of the last bolts that was in here, and that is tight. Now, as you saw, we did all four plugs. Make sure all those bolts are back in place, and all the wiring harness is attached properly. And that's about it for the tune up. The whole air pipe is back in place. Vacuum hose or whatever hose that is, is back on. That we didn't touch, we did take off this lamp and that's pushed back in. So that is it everyone, To how to do and complete tune up of four plugs. If you have problems or cords with the coil, you would just use the same procedure and then chain the coil, placing the plugs as well. So that is it. If you like the video, hit a like. And also there's much more videos on this car. There is front brakes, rear brake, and this uh, PCV valve replacement, as well as oil change and a whole bunch of stuff on this car you can check out as well in this channel. So please subscribe 
and I will see you in the next video.